I've never seen a Canadian eat a burrito so fast. <laughs> Trying to keep up with you. <laughs> Look at this peanut butter Nutella tortilla breakfast in bed with a view. Good morning, John. Would you like me to throw this stick? Is that the first thing you want to do today? Okay, ready? Buenos dias. We're up long before the sunrise today. Probably because we went to bed at 6.30. We've been laying in our tents for about 12 hours. And it wasn't as cold. I think it made a big difference because I put my rain fly on the tent. Kept the heat in there. And hey, there's Mira. How you doing? How you doing? Well, I know this game. You're not going to give it to me. I don't want that stick. Let's play the opposite game. I don't want it. Nope, I don't want it. the sun getting ready to peek over you can do it buddy hey Mira are you admiring this sunrise check it out right behind you look at that girl nope she just cares about sticks sunrise shave what do you think, John? It's time to go for a bike ride. Today. Time to go for a bike ride. What do you think, Mia? Are you ready? You ready to ride bikes? Oh, yeah. You ready to ride bikes? Yeah? Thank you, nice flat piece of ground. Thank you, beautiful scenery for a wonderful place to camp. It's time to hit the road. No flatties, Crashies. no crashies, wow. no whammies, no frozen fingeries. <laughs> yeah, let's go, it's Friday, it's time to party. I do love these crisp desert mornings though. The air is just pure. And uh, you just feel alive. This is the kind of morning I live for when I'm on a bike tour. Slightly downhill, no wind, smooth pavement allows you to really enjoy these simple beauties of life. crazy that's the only contact point that is balancing this entire rock that is impressive <laughs> that doesn't look right check this place out we were riding by on the highway a little sign that said cliff dwellers there's a bunch of balancing rocks and there's an old cliff dwelling as well this is really cool and here's the the old cliff dwelling.
Yeah, hi there, baby. Really beautiful spot, huh? All right, here we are in Marble Canyon at the gas station, ready to load up. So how much do you put in here? 30 cents worth? I fill it right up. 30 cents worth of gas for a whole lot of warm coffee in the morning. Yeah, 31 cents, yeah. This gas station might have one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. What do you think about that? So John just walked out of the store. What in the world do you have? <laughs> got some soups. All kinds of health food here. Yeah, we got ramen soups. We got chicken flavor. We got uh, chili mangoes with uh, oriental flavor. I think it's the wasabi nuts, wasabi yeah. peas. Two frozen burritos, which according to uh, an expert I know, these will warm up throughout the day. Yeah, that's and, right, baby. And then we got a hot spicy pickle. Ooh. Yeah, you turned me on to those too, so that, that's uh, it's pretty great. <laughs> it's good to have vegetables. When I you might can have get that them. right now, actually. Yeah, it's I'm, good to I'm have sick. vegetables. Mira, you are so sweet to wait for us while we do our shopping. Yeah. We're heading into canyon country. Are you excited? You know, when you're sitting on a bike all day, you're kind of hunched over and you're moving in one direction. You know, my legs can get sore, my lower back can get sore. So sometimes I like to stretch. And when I'm out in the desert camping, a lot of times I don't want to lay down in the dirt that's covered with thorns. So this nice flat sidewalk here will do the trick. And uh, it definitely makes a difference to loosen up the body and floss those nerves a little bit. And another benefit to doing exercises on the pavement is it's nice and cool. It just uh, feels good to lay down, actually. <sighs> and John over here is just enjoying his pickle. How's your pickle, buddy? It's spicy. <laughs> it's spicy and salty. What are you saying, Mira? <laughs> Baby. Mira sees a dog, and she's like, I want to play with you. Come over here, dog. I'm sick of these humans. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mary. We're just leaving now. All right, John. We're in Marble Canyon. Where do we go now? Yeah. So we're now we're uh, headed east. We're gonna cross the Colorado River. I think it's sometimes called the Navajo Bridge. And then, uh, from what I understand, I think we're in Navajo Nation land at that point. We're on the east side of the Colorado. And we're headed south, I uh, believe still on 89, and then at Bitterroot, we're going to head west, back out into the desert. Well, yeah, it's all desert, but, but no asphalt. Yeah. Dirt roads, and, and we're looking for a campsite at Rock Point, right on the uh, rim look, overlooking the Colorado today. So, Ooh, it's yeah, going to be good. Yeah, And this is why we have those permits. That's right, yeah. So we, we even talked with uh, Craig and, and uh, Nicolette last night. They helped us out getting those, but... Um, this is private land. This is owned by the nation and uh, Navajo Nation. And so us going on there without the permit is trespass. Um, pretty disrespectful generally. And uh, so yeah, we've got our permits and we've paid for our camping. And, uh, and yeah, we've been welcomed onto the area. So it's gonna be great. It's a real privilege to get on there. Colorado River, wow! That is so cool! Colorado River, man, beautiful. Okay, we are now officially on the Navajo Nation. John, this is pavement. Pavement's easy, right? Yeah, it sure can be. It's downhill. 
but uh, stuff we're rolling on is uh, you know it's a gradual grade anywhere from sort of two percent almost five percent there's little to no shoulder you know not too bad of traffic but it's hard this is the hardest terrain for me mirrors in the back most of the time it's 40 extra pounds she doesn't get out all that much and so I got to find a, a gear that just takes me on up you know find a, a good pace not to go too hard but it's still not easy and it goes on this one's going on for you know five miles or something like that um, but it is nice you know to have the pinion I can just you know switch a single gear easily and the ratios are even which is great so I can find that that nice tempo but yeah this is definitely the hardest terrain I'd rather ride you know rough stuff steep she can get out and I can ride the bike it's way better yeah this is tough We have ridden 40 miles of pavement today, which was pretty nice and fast. But now we're getting on dirt, which makes me happy, getting away from the cars, heading out into the back country. some really nice dirt roads right now we can really kind of crank on them go fast and we're going a little bit downhill because we're heading toward the canyon rim that's where we're gonna camp tonight and when I say rim I mean the rim of the Grand Canyon oh this is gonna be so exciting She got a sticker. Oh, she needs her booties. Oh, I'm just putting on some protection, some uh, some dog booties for Mira. She's, there's a lot of um, hey, come here, sweetheart. There's a lot of uh, goat heads. Hey, sit down, sit. Oh, that's a better. Say lay down. Lay down. Good girl. I know, I know. Come here. So these protect her from getting little thorns. Yeah, some protection. Um, they're used for uh, dog sledders, for mushers. Well, you look very stylish, Mira. Good job, Mira. It is the magic hour. The sun is getting low on the horizon. It's 4.15 p.m. And we're heading to a campsite called Rocky Point. And so since we're on Navajo land, we can only camp at designated campsites. You can't just pop up a tent wherever you want. So we're heading to this site, which is supposedly very close to the Canyon Rim, which is exciting. It's been a nice long day. And uh, I'm also excited just to be done and get off my bike.
is this it? This looks pretty epic. <laughs> we are on the edge. Good work, John. High five. Incredible. All right, let's put the bike down and walk over. This is how close we are to the edge of the Grand Canyon. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty all right. <laughs> oh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Oh my God. This is so cool. absolutely incredible this is definitely one of the best camp spots I've ever had in my life I've been to the Grand Canyon before only twice it's awe-inspiring I mean I grew up seeing photos of it movies stuff like that but once you see it in real life it really just packs a punch I mean to be able to sit here right on the rim of one of the wonders of the world is really special and to have biked here is makes it even better and uh, I'm just feeling a lot of gratitude right now gratitude that John invited me to join him on this segment and gratitude that I have the ability to come right now and gratitude that it's a beautiful sunny day and that I'm looking at this incredible canyon system and the Colorado River and <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. I will remember this moment for the rest of my life, no doubt about it. Just the colors on the canyon walls as the sun is setting. You can kind of hear the rapids of the river way down below. And Man, this just makes me so happy. Like This right here is what makes me happiest in life. Just enjoying the best of Mother Nature with a friend and a dog. I mean, it's been an incredible four days so far. And uh, yeah, just feeling really good. Feeling really, really good. And I feel really connected to this land. We were on the Navajo Nation. Last night we made friends with some Navajo people and you know, we have camping permits to be here and everything is just aligned, you know, to make this happen. And I'm very appreciative. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep 20 feet from the rim of this canyon. How cool is that? I'm gonna feel like connected to this earth in a way that I've never felt. Mira, what do you think of the Grand Canyon? What do you think of this big hole in the ground? Are you pulling your dad's bike or so? let's go closer to the, let's go over here. You're so sweet. Did you have a good day today? I certainly had a good day. Oh, I love you so much. What do you think about this, John? I mean, 
pretty awesome. What do, you, what do you guys say about this? I think we're pretty lucky. There's not many people that get to come here. You know, we got those permits. We're here on the Navajo side of the of the canyon. I mean, yeah, it's it's great. This means basically wild camping, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Do you have any? The perfect time. Yeah, the perfect That's time. Good. We got here right at sunset. I know. Yeah, sun's just. It just went up. down. The light changed on your face I know. just now. Amazing. Look yeah. at that. Check this out. There goes the sun. Bye bye, sun. Oh, oh, oh! It's been a great day. Yeah. It has been a great day, man. Yeah. High five. Yeah. My man. Totally. That's great. This is magical. Oh, get and off. you you make it magical. You definitely make it magical. Yeah. You want to dance. You want to dance? It's Friday night. You want to dance with me? Let's have a little dance, girl. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> this is one of those moments where you're like, is this real life? Is this really happening? Is this the life that I've created for myself? And the answer to all of those questions is yes. This really is ha happening and this is my life. And I am so thankful and grateful. Burrito to ramen, cheers, right next to the big hole. Look at that. I'd say this is a pretty good spot to eat dinner. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> all right, here I am again, all cozy in my tent, although it's pretty cold. We're at higher elevation than yesterday. We're at about 5,700 square, uh, square feet. 5,700 feet above sea level. And that's pretty high. An amazing day. Amazing finish to the day. I'm feeling very connected to the world, to the, the people around here. It's been a wonderful adventure so far. And more to come. Buenas noches. I see you doing this all the time. And it Definitely makes me happy to be able to to hug her while pedaling. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Huh, Mira? 